Create this candy cane effect in Procreate in few easy steps. When you realize how easy it is, you can make pieces such as this one or this one even. In today's tutorial, you're gonna create your own smudge brush that will give you this effect and I also wanna give you a small Christmas gift. You can follow the link in the description below and download for free a Christmas brush set by becoming a member of our newsletter. Also, if you want to get featured, don't forget to tag us at Jimbo Bernaus and Shoutbam on Instagram so we can share your results with the community. Here's a little shout out to our patrons and their results. Remember that our Patreon is the place to go if you want to learn lettering. We have a bunch of videos that will help you step up your game. Let's get started. Let's create a new canvas by tapping on the plus sign. I'm going to use centimeters and I'm going to use a 30 centimeters width times 22 centimeters height. For the color profile, I'm going to choose an RGB. All right, so now here I'm going to create the shape of our main candy cane. And for this, I'm going to choose a red color. I'm not giving you a color palette because I want you to experiment a little bit with the best red that you can find. Now, this is the brush set that I'm giving you for free today. Make sure you download it before you get started. Now let's select a monoline brush. You can find some of them under the calligraphy native brushes. Now I'm gonna create a circle. So create a circle and then with your left hand, tap with your finger so the circle becomes perfect. And then right about this size, I'm gonna drop a color inside. Remember to slide left and right until it looks like this. Now go to the transform tool and make sure that snapping options are on. Now we're gonna center this until you see this yellow vertical line and the yellow horizontal line. Now go to the layers panel, tap on the circle and tap on alpha log. Go to actions, drawing guide and edit drawing guide. Now go to symmetry, options, radial and rotational symmetry. Tap on done. Now select a complete white color by tapping twice next to the white colors. If you do the same with black, you would select a complete black color too. So now make sure the monoline brush is selected and from the center draw a curve like this. Now you're gonna understand how the rotational symmetry works. Don't leave the pencil off the screen until you're satisfied. And now before I drop a color inside go to the layer, tap on it and unselect drawing assist and also unselect alpha lock. Now drag and drop the white color inside one of these sections and move left and right without lifting the pencil off the screen. Now tap up here on continue filling and fill the rest of the shapes until you get something like this. Great. Now I'm going to change the background color just so we see what's happening here. And here it's the time for you to select any background color that you like. I'm gonna go with something bluish, maybe a little bit green. I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna change it after a little. Now tap on the plus sign, tap on this new layer and tap on clipping mask. Now I'm gonna select a black color, go to the airbrushing panel and select a soft brush. Make sure the size is bigger, somewhere around 35%. And I'm just gonna put some shadows right here. The more shadow, the more we're gonna get that overlap in our candy cane. So make sure it's dark right here. Now select a white color and then I'm gonna do some little light here, maybe a little bit stronger, somewhere around here. And I think I'm done with my shape. Now go to the layers panel, pinch these two together so they become one layer and now hide it. Now create a new layer and I'm gonna select a pencil. For me, I'm just gonna select one of my pencils, but you can select any pencil that you have. And now here, I'm gonna create a sketch for my calligraphy that's gonna become the candy cane later. So I'm just gonna add some guides like this, a little bit in diagonal, duplicate this layer and bring it up somewhere around here. Now pinch these two together. Go to the transform tool and move them right in the center, somewhere around that. Now bring the opacity down, new layer. And then I'm gonna go to the Shaobam Christmas brush set that you just downloaded and get the ball marker. It's a monoline brush, so it's gonna give us a perfect structure for our word. You can make one letter or you can make a whole sentence if you want. 
Now I'm gonna go with the word naughty because I just thought it had a good ring to it. But you don't have to do a word, you can do just a letter, a whole sentence if you want, or maybe some illustration, some Christmas decorations with this effect, whatever you want. I'm just gonna do this word and I'll show you super soon how to get started with the candy cane effect. Now you can see that I didn't finish the letter G and that's because I'm gonna make it a nice swoosh. So I wanna make sure first where the letters are gonna be at and then I'm gonna do that in a cooler way. Since my word is not gonna fit, I'm selecting both layers, I'm moving them a little bit to the left. You can make them even smaller if you want. Now this is a tricky part because I wanna connect the letter G together with the letter Y. So I think I'm just gonna start by creating this part of the G and just leave it right there. Third is a charm, hopefully. Yeah, I think I like that. And now here, I'm just gonna create a weird swash, sort of like Christmassy, you know, like what a ribbon would do. I think that's gonna look cool with the candy cane effect. So now I'm gonna erase this part of the end a little. Just, sorry, just like this. And I'm gonna do a similar swash that goes from the end to the T, to the crossbar of the T, something like this. Let's try again. Good. I think that will work. Now I'm making this smaller so the word has more room to breathe and center it in the middle. Something like this. Good. Now go to the layers panel and just bring the opacity down so not is not that visible and duplicate once your peppermint that circle that you did before. Now, sorry, bring it up to the top, make it visible, and now make it smaller. Now, this is crucial because we're gonna decide how thick our candy cane is gonna be. I believe something like this will work. Now make sure that you have space in between the letters. If you make it too thick, then your letters are just not gonna be readable at all. So make sure of that. Now I'm gonna put it right here because I'm gonna start the letter N right here at the bottom. Good, now duplicate it again and bring this one somewhere here. So I'm duplicating it as many times as I wanna get started with a new shape. So I'm gonna do the N in one single stroke, then I'm gonna start with the A, I'm gonna do the U, then I'll do the H, T, Y, and then finally I'm gonna do the ligature in between the G and the Y. Sorry, my dog just wanted to be a part of the video. Okay, so I'm done placing these little peppermints. Now we're gonna start creating this much brush to create the candy cane. So go to the Shaobam Christmas, and then actually better select the smudge tool. So we know that we have to use that tool to actually make the candy cane. So just step here on the smudge. And again, just open the Christmas brushes. There you go. And now tap on the plus sign to create a new brush. Now in stroke path, bring the spacing down to zero. Go to stabilization and you can touch the streamline amount depending on how comfortable you are with Procreate strokes. So if you want something smoother, make sure that you bring the stabilization and streamline amounts up a notch. Now you can retouch this later to what's better for you. And you can also try to make a stroke here in the brush studio. Now go to Apple Pencil and in pressure, bring the opacity down to about 12%. Go to properties. Now here I'm gonna put this much pull to max and tap on done. Great, so now let's find the first peppermint, this one, and you're gonna see how easy it is to create this effect. You see? You just drag it and you're done. The only thing that is a bit complicated is that you have to nail the size of the peppermint and the size of your smudge brush. So that's the only complicated thing. If you have a new iPad and so you have the hover option, it's gonna be much easier because you're gonna see the shape of the brush before you actually tap on the screen. 
So now go to Actions, Preferences, and tap on Brush Cursor. Again, if you have a new iPad, it's gonna be better. If you have an older iPad like me, at least you're gonna see that circle before you start dragging the candy cane. Now make sure that you tap right in the center of that peppermint so there is no transparencies going around. But you're gonna see that if you try like three or four times, you're gonna get used to it. Okay, so now we have the N. Now let's go to the A. I'm gonna zoom in a little. So to make these letters, especially now that I'm gonna have to do almost three in a row, it's actually better if you use your whole arm instead of your wrists because you're gonna have a bigger area for you to move in. Remember that this has to be in one single stroke so you cannot lift the pencil off the screen. I think that's gonna work. Now let's do H, T, Y, and leave it there, right there. Good, so now the most complicated part is the one that's left. Okay, let's see. Now you can see that the stabilization that we put in the brush actually helps because it looks really smooth even though I'm going quite slow. Done. Okay, so now I'm gonna play with some effects on top of this so it gives a bit more realism to the whole thing. Now go to the layers panel and hide your sketches and guides and all that. And now tap on each of these layers and tap on mask. And we're gonna be ready to hide parts that we don't like without erasing them. Now you're gonna get it. So for example, if I go up here to the T, I want that crossbar to go on top of the T. For that, I'm gonna go to the layer that contains the N, I'm gonna tap on it and I'm gonna tap on select. Now I'm gonna go to the layer that contains the T and on the layer mask, so select the layer mask and a monoline brush or like a solid brush and then with a dark color, with a black color, I'm gonna draw on top. Now you're gonna see that if I go with the white, I'm getting this back, black, erasing. So now whatever design you have, if you wanna hide some things, this is the perfect technique and it doesn't destroy your design and you can always step back and redo it. Great, so now go to the layers panel and I'm gonna select all these layers just by swiping like this, and then I'm gonna group them. Now I'm gonna duplicate the group, and I'm gonna tap and flatten one of the groups. Now I'm gonna create a layer on top, and I'm gonna make it a clipping mask. And with the soft brush, I'm gonna start adding shadows here. Before that, I'm gonna go to Actions Canvas, and I'm gonna unselect the drawing guide because I don't need it anymore, and I didn't even notice that it was there. Now, maybe just a little bit of a darker background will look nicer. And remember to turn off all the things that you don't need. Because I still have this one here. Okay. Okay, now for real, let's, let's get some shadows done. Go to that clipping mask that you created before. Select a black color or maybe like a dark red will also look nice. And remember to go with the soft brush in the air brushing panel. Now here, I wanna add some shadows right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the selection tool and I'm gonna select the free hand and just do a little square here so I don't get to paint the whole thing because I don't need to. And just, I'm gonna spray some shadows here. And now with the monoline as an eraser, I'm gonna erase the parts that I don't need. So those ones that go on top, there you go. Done. Great. Now, let's add another shadow. So here, it's gonna look nice, I think. Just as you see, I sprayed a little bit and then I painted it. You can use a selection tool if you want, but you don't have to. Sometimes I'm gonna use it and sometimes I just won't use it. And now maybe right here as well. Maybe a little bit softer. And again, erasing 
because it goes on top so this goes out and if you think it's important to add more shadows add them but i think i'm done here now i'm gonna add some nice elements on the background and i'm gonna start with the christmas balls so now create a layer on top of everything else select a green color and a monoline brush now i'll create a circle right here assist it with your left finger drop a color inside now go to hue saturation and brightness in adjustments and you can play there with the settings until you find a green that you like okay good so now i'm gonna create a new clipping mask on top of this and i'm gonna start just adding some shadows like we did with the peppermint in the beginning so select a dark color and the soft shadow brush and just add some shadows right here like this and then with the white color add a little bit of light right here in the middle maybe a little bit less yeah that looks good now with the lighter tone of green i'm gonna add some light here so it's like a refraction from something else and that's gonna give me a little bit more of visibility in that ball so otherwise it gets lost a little bit in the background good so now create a new layer on top of everything else and with a monoline i'm gonna finish that ball so i'm gonna do a little circle like this and now i'm gonna bring it down like this something like that yeah, that works now fill it up in the middle i'm gonna perfect this line maybe a little bit that's about it now i'm gonna create a new layer on top of this and with a clipping mask and with a darker green I'm just gonna add some shadows right here like this at the top and then with a lighter color like a white I'm gonna add some light right here now select a monoline as an eraser and I'm gonna erase in that circular movement like this now better now erase this perfect looking good and now I'm going to create a new layer in between that clipping mask. And I'm going to add some shadow right here. And some light right there. Okay. This looks good enough. Now I'm just going to create a new layer on top of everything else. And with the same red color I'm gonna add a little string up here great I'm just gonna center it right there and then I'm gonna create a new layer underneath that and with the dark green background I'm gonna just draw a little circle here just as a uh, you know the string kind of goes inside the ball something like this I'm gonna move now the red string somewhere around there and then with an eraser I'm just gonna erase this as it's getting inside that hole okay so now we are done with the main shape of the ball now I'm gonna pinch together the elements with their shadows of lights and I'm gonna group them and duplicate the group now one of the groups is gonna be red so i'm gonna drop a red color in the ball like this and like this and the other one is gonna remain the same the green one now i want to duplicate the green and the red and with the new ones i'm just gonna bring them to the top and flatten them but the old ones the, the grouped ones I'm just gonna leave them there not visible just in case i want to go back and change something now i'm gonna duplicate the green ball three times and the red one three times as well and i'm just gonna place them one big there maybe like another green somewhere around here a little bit smaller there you go then one another green way smaller here 
So just try to balance the space and now we have six balls. You can put more if you want, but I think six is way enough. Maybe like a huge red one somewhere around here like this. There you go. Now we have two more. So I'm going to put one red right there and this one right here at the bottom. Good. So now the balls that are the biggest, I'm going to make them a little bit blurry. So it looks like they are in front of the camera, right? So now I'm going to go to adjustments, Gaussian blur. I'm just going to add the more Gaussian blur to the bigger balls, right? So I'm going to go to the red one here as well, Gaussian blur and add. Now maybe to not this red one, but yeah, this one, I'm also add, adding Gaussian blur here, maybe not as much. Now go to all these balls and pinch them together. And now go back to your naughty clipping mask, the shadow one, and add some shadows coming from those Christmas balls. So now go and create a new clipping mask on top of those shadows. So right here. Now select the white color, go to the Christmas brushes and select the LED diffuser. And now I'm going to add some lights on that candy cane. So right here in the parts that I think should be the most lit up. So the ones that are, you know, affected by the source light, not the ones that are, you know, going in the background. Just remember how glossy the candy canes are. You can actually get one, like I get a real one and reference the light as well. Now still inside the Christmas brushes, I'm going to select the snowy shader and I'm just going to add some more snowy grainy lights on top of the lights that I have now. Now go to your layer and play with the opacity and modes. For me, my favorite one for adding lights is add, but also overlay looks great. Just make sure that you play around with it enough so you get to know what looks better. Now I'm gonna select some stars from the brush as well, create a new layer on top of everything else and just spray some stars around. Now go to that layer and play with modes. The add one with the lower opacity looks good. And now I'm gonna create a new clipping mask on top of my Christmas balls. And I'm gonna select one of these Christmassy wrapping papers. So you can play with a dark red for the red balls and a dark green for the green balls. Good, now you can go to your layer and play with modes again. I would go maybe to an overlay or a soft light and bring the opacity down. Perfect. Now what's left here is to erase this little, you see when it kind of like goes up here, I don't like that. So I'm going to erase it from everywhere. And also remember that the blurred elements should have blurred patterns on them. So now, Go to the selection tool with the free hand and select the balls that are bigger. Go to adjustments, Gaussian blur, and just add a little bit of Gaussian blur on that pattern. Perfect. Now I'm going to spray, what else can I do? Maybe some of these bubbles that are going to look pretty good on it. There you go. And with a white color and on a new layer. So just. Spray a few of them, maybe not that big. So here and there, they have transparency in them, so they're gonna look nice. Just make them smaller and bigger again. So it gives that depth that we are trying to get in the whole piece. 
And now play again with modes, maybe the light modes, so add overlay modes like this. Play with opacity as well. You know, I, I want them to be there, but not that much. Something like this will look cool. Great. Now on the same layer, I'm going to add the craft paper texture, which is going to give us a little bit of kind of like a snowy effect on top of everything else. See, so it's going to give us these um, white speckles on top of everything. And that's going to look nice too. So just spray some, don't overdo it. And now the last layer for today, I'm going to use this long exposure brush. And I'm just going to add some random lines that gives us these nice lights. Maybe put them into overlay and bring them to the background. Bring the opacity down. I don't want them to be super visible. And now create a layer in the background with a dark color and a soft shadow brush. And what I'm going to do now is to add some overall shadow down here. So just a little bit right there, maybe a bit less, something like this. Good. And now I'm going to add some lighter tone on the left side. There you go. Now the last step, go to actions, add, copy canvas, go to the top of your layers, three fingers down the screen and paste. Now go to adjustments, chromatic aberration, and just slide to the right a little bit. Now the last thing is go back to adjustments and add a bit of noise. And we are done. Thank you so much to make it till here. And remember that if you want to keep learning, you can check out our Patreon. We share new long format tutorials every single month and the library is getting bigger and bigger. You also get free brush sets and huge discounts in our shop. See you next time. Bye.